on the morning of Friday, July 6, Andrew Branner received a call that would put his company's 30-year experience in the field to the test. Branner, who serves as the CEO of our Carter-based wing inflatables, had been asked by Elon Musk's engineering team from SpaceX to construct an inflatable escape pod for the 12 children and their coach who are currently stranded in an air pocket inside the sprawling Tham Luang Nang Nong cave complex in Thailand. Knowing that time is of the essence, Branner and his team got to work. The stranded members of the Wild Boar soccer team have been stranded in the caves since June 23, after a casual excursion into the underground caverns turned into a pitch black ordeal due to flash floods. The group of 13, you comprised of boys aged 11 16, and their 25 year old coach, were missing until this past Monday, when they were located by two UK divers. The children and their coach have been given food and survival supplies, and on Tuesday, a doctor and a nurse spent the night with them. While the group is safe for now, however, retrieving them is not easy, considering that they are located too. Five miles away from the entrance to the caves, parts of the cave systems are also underwater, which would force the children to dive into murky waters during their retrieval. In a tweet on Friday, Elon Musk posted a brief update on Twitter stating, that SpaceX and Boring Company. Engineers are headed to Thailand, in order to see, if they can be helpful to the government's rescue efforts. That was the same day, that Branner woke up to a text and call from the SpaceX team. Branner notes that the message was brief, but the request was clear. Elon has an idea, or our team does. Close quote. Musk's initial idea to rescue the trapped children is to use an inflatable tube. Considering Wing's experience in the field, Branner and his team went to work refining the idea. The result was a submersible torpedo, which could hold a person with an air tank and a breathing apparatus. The torpedo is designed to be towed by its front and back, and be sleek enough to be guided through the cave system's trickiest sections. Branner opted to utilize 30% of his company's workforce for the fast-track effort, reducing his business's usual output by half. The CEO's gambit worked, and by 9.30 a.m. on Friday, a prototype was ready. Branner noted that the first rescue pod, which is 7 feet long, sealed with Velcro, and inflatable with the passenger's exhaled air, was a finished product. There were no throwaway units or redos. There was just not enough time. By 1 o'clock p. m. Wing's rescue pod was tested on the Arcata community pool, with a certified dive instructor and two individuals who do not know how to swim. The tests were encouraging, with both test individuals being able to breathe comfortably inside the rescue pod. Branner had also been speaking with Musk and his engineering staff in a conference call. He, Elon, was very direct and clear on supporting getting a solution in place, Branner said. By 5.15 p.m., Elon Musk's private Gulfstream G650ER landed at the Arcart Eureka Airport in Northern California. Wing inflatables had five finished rescue pods ready by then. Eight more pods, corresponding to each of the individuals in need of rescue, were flown out on Saturday morning. 
apart from the inflatable pods, that the engineers from SpaceX and the Boring Company transported to Thailand on Friday, Musk and his team at LA are also designing a mini-submarine for the children. In a series of tweets over the weekend, Musk stated that the mini-sub would be small enough to fit through the contours of the cave, and its hull will be made of the same material as the oxygen transfer tube of a Falcon rocket, making it extremely durable. The mini-sub would have four handles and hitch points for the front and rear, with two air tanks on both front and rear, allowing up to four tanks to be connected. Rescue efforts for the stranded children are already underway as of Sunday. For this rescue attempt, the children would have to dive using scuba gear into the waters with two experienced divers. Divers who will be conducting the retrieval of the soccer team are expected to spend 11 hours inside the caves, 6 hours heading to the children, and 5 hours going out. It remains unknown for now if the rescuers will be utilizing the rescue pods delivered by the SpaceX and Boring Company. Team Musk's mini-sub continues testing in LA, just in case it's needed for the cave rescue efforts.